Hi everyone, welcome on in and welcome back to all of our subscribers and YouTube members. If you're new here, my name is Sean Games. I'm going to be your favorite queer disabled content creator from Connecticut who's going to make you fall in love with your favorite games all over again. And today is our final day of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood as we look at the DLC. We've had some up and downs in my journey with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The game plays very differently than Assassin's Creed 2. It might be telling yourself right away, Sean, I disagree with you. And I'd love to hear that disagreement in the comment section. Because for me, Assassin's Creed 2 felt open. You have the opportunity to do whatever you want. There was no strict rules that you really had to go by. If you wanted to do a tomb, you could just do a tomb. If you wanted to go and do a side mission, you can do a side mission. Where Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had you have to do certain things to unlock certain things. So for me, as a casual player who wants to learn as much as I can about the story, that felt like constricted to me. If it was 2010, when the game came out, I would have loved it because I want to explore every nook and cranny of the game. But for me now in 2023, I want to play through the game. I want to play the story. I want to learn as much as I can. And I want to get caught up to all of you. I want to learn everything that all of you have learned in like the shortest time as possible because I want to get to Mirage as soon as possible. With today's video, I'm not going to be actually playing any of the DLC. I started the Leonardo missions by accident thinking it was something else and didn't record it. So I have like a missing files. So I'm just going to watch all the cutscenes. I'm going to pause them. We're going to react to them. We're going to have a good time. I'm excited. I'm interested to see about Christina, our long lost girlfriend who's long and lost because that sex scene was hot and heavy in the previous game and I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for sex scene number two. Let me tell you, Witcher 3 did me dirty with the amount of hot and heavy sex scenes that game had. Whoo! Masterpiece. Let me tell you, if you're looking for a game and you love the Assassin's Creed series, Witcher 3, play it. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What other games do y'all enjoy? So besides Assassin's Creed, what other games have you do you play? What other games are you interested? Leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what's next after Assassin's Creed. We have like 60, 70, 80 weeks left of Assassin's Creed. So we have like another year together before there is no more Assassin's Creed content. I know that feels weird to say out loud. It feels really weird. But in all, we're going to have more games to play and they're going to have more games that are going to come out and more things for us to do together. We also have two more Assassin's Creed games coming out next year. So there's tons of things to play and there's tons of things to do together. So I'm excited. So without further ado, let's jump into the DLC of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Okay, so we're going to begin with the Copper Copper Nisulus Conspiracy. Um, and this comes from Cutscenes, Dialogue, and Details in Video Games which is a small YouTube channel here. They only have 15. Now they have 16 um, subscribers who I found some videos from. So let's take a start at this. Okay. Who is this man? Yeah, who is he? Russia. I gave his studies at the Vatican, but his words are unlike any that issue from that place. Mm. Some may tell you to be content with Ptolemy's explanation of the heavens. His mathematical contortions of the spheres dancing around the earth. I like his outfit a whole lot. But why are such complicated numbers required? Perhaps to disguise Is he a philosopher? The contradictions. You must question bad logic. Ah! Right away, philo he's a philosopher. Why is he being... Quickly. The master wants all the scholars silenced by... Oh! Looks like we're going to be... And so am I. Interrupting that. Okay, so we interrupted it. And defends without cause. One who believes in freedom. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. God, he is so handsome. I would... Oh my lord. Ezio. All I gotta say. They call me Niccolò Copernico. I have heard your name spoken at the ball Chacot. Hmm, that's not good to hear. Now I have proof that you truly exist. Il Vaticano welcomes you. Yet, you are under attack by its guards. Mm -hmm. You think me one of them? Truthfully, you would be right. Yesterday, I was a Templar. And today? The Templars wanted me to keep oh. the findings of my experiments hidden. 
Oh, interesting. They board your hunt for you and your friends. Uh huh. Scholars? The, the logic of such a purge escapes me. Find Copernico! But we will discuss reasoning later. Follow me. Okay, I find this interesting that. So, previously he was a Templar. He learned too much. And now the Templars no longer want him. Interesting to think about that there's a certain level that you're allowed to know to be a Templar. You can't know too much, but you can't know too little. Maybe you can know too little. You will be safe here. Mm -hmm. What are the other scholars? How do I know I can trust you? Mm. <laughs> Knowledge gathering is a dangerous enterprise. Easier to stay in place, learning nothing, than to risk in order to truly know. I like him a whole lot. Right. Enlightened. Take these letters to the scholars. They must be informed of the threat to their safety. I like him a lot, a lot. This is from Copernico. Thank you. Copernico sent you. Gracias. Mm hmm And now what? <gasps> the Borgia are after you. Then I will hide. Thank you. Read this. To safety. I, will. I hate that that guy died. Take this. It's from Copernico. Grazie. Hmm. All letters are delivered. One of them died. We're not going to talk about that. On, I determined the most likely source of these strange attacks. The master of the sacred palace. What Who sacred palace? There? A Dominican appointed by the Pope who ensures that Roman religious philosophy remains pure. He never liked my studies to begin with. Mm. Now that I have crossed the Templars, he has clearly retaliated. Where can I find him? Cardinals typically congregate nearby. Follow one of them. The master likes to greet each one. Perhaps you will hear more conclusive evidence. Maybe we can get a disguise and get in there and actually talk to him one to one. Master. Juliano. Any news of Copernico and the others? Nothing. I like Those these fools. outfits. Inundating the people. The red hats are really, really, really can cool. Can contain the populace as it is. I have dispatched my best guards to deal with them. I trust they will make quick mm. work of it. I must stop them. Are we assassinating are right. both of them? A the master intends to kill you. Uh huh. I will not let his bullying stop my research. Good. Tonight there is Good. an eclipse. I intend to chronicle it. But the master oh. hunts for you. Better to die enlightened than to live in ignorance. I love that line. Better to die enlightened than to live in ignorance. I like this guy a lot. I like him a lot, a lot. Okay, and now what? Silencing the truth will not mm -hmm. stop its spread. People are lazy. They will believe what we tell them to believe. I have sent my best man to find Copernico. You are already too late. Oh. Requiescat in pace. I'm surprised he still says rest in peace. I'm very surprised. Is the world not marvelous? Oh, a red is that a you red sun? Be so emotional. You will find it all makes more sense that way. Perhaps. Chesare thinks himself mm. the center of it all. But he circles the periphery with the rest of us. And did you know that the sun is most likely the midpoint of the universe? Not the earth? Mm-hmm. I did know that actually. I see the movements of the moon and stars, and yet I can only observe. So much is unknown to me. This age of reason is but the beginning of an end I will never see. Someday we will be able to influence this world, to exploit the power of human will, to harness light, and perhaps even travel into the heavens. That sounds very like the conversation that we had with Minerva. And the conversation that we had with Juno at the end of this game. Huh. 
that seems very odd to me. I'm only pointing it out because I've, because that's what I'm thinking. But I am getting ahead of myself. First, we must see the sun spinning at the center. I believe what you say is possible. You should not accept my word. Not until I have mm -hmm. proof. Soon. Buona notte, Ezio. And thank you. I like the mix of like a little Italian in all of it. That was a great start. Hey, look, my own video. That was a great start. So let's jump into our next one. I have been told that I'm gonna cry my eyes out for this Christina memory ones. We have it from what looks to be Anika, A-N-C-A-G, um, who has about a thousand subscribers. So let's pop this baby into full screen and see what we have regarding Christina, our ex-girlfriend or current girlfriend. I'm not really sure what her official title is. I'm hoping that she's still our girlfriend um, because that sex scene was hot and heavy. Okay, so we run after Christina and then what? What about that one? Oh, okay, so this she's is... She's beautiful. Okay, then go talk to her. Just like that? Okay, talk why do we have German subtitles? Hold on. Oh, hold on. They have German subtitles. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, let's hopefully we can read these subtitles on top of what? it. It doesn't matter. See, little brother, most men are so afraid of beautiful girls that anyone uh -huh. who actually talks to them has an advantage. Just make it up as you go. He's not wrong. He is literally not wrong. And I think that's something that so many people struggle with with dating is... The fear of making the first move, make the first move. Just go and say hello. Even if it's just a hello. And hello can go a really long way. But don't be creepy and continue to say hello. You have a maximum of three. That's what I like to say with dating. You got a maximum of three. You have three chances where you reach out to someone, you say hello, maybe they don't respond. You say hello a different day, they don't respond. You say another message, they don't respond. Once you've messaged three times and you've gotten ghosted all three times, never contact them ever again. That goes for friendships too. If you have friends who are like always ghosting you, give them three chances. Three chances to hang out. If they flake, if they back out, if they make a mistake. And it's like not like uncalled for. Like if someone dies or like something happens, like... Okay, give them another chance. But like, if it's like, oh, last minute, I can't do this. Three chances is what they get. They get three chances. So go and say hello. What? <laughs> Why are you just standing there? Oh, uh, um, because I wanted to ask you something, which is... He is so bad at flirting. Not one you'll ever need to make yourself. Oh! I wasn't ready. I was planning on being really charming and fun. And I just have a second chance. <laughs> oh, well. Ezio. Ezio! You, you made her smile. She will remember you now. No, I can still fix this. I'll follow her away. See so where she lives. I don't think you ever should follow someone home. Oh, not this asshole. See, but I am. Get in line. I think not, amore mio. Oh! I've decided. Oh! I'm tired of I always hated him. Your legs on your own. Cane rognoso. What do you want here? This has nothing to do with you. Nice to see you too, Vieri. I, think I you're hate him so much. This young lady's day. Beat the shit out of him. Hey, for interfering. Your whole family will be the Wait a second. Is the reason that they go after his so there's two reasons in the, the or one reason in the other game where they go after his family was because his family knew too much? Is the little brother or the little boy getting involved now because he doesn't get the girl that she want that he wants, and Ezio gets in the way of it. Interesting. So there are multiple reasons why the Pazzi family came after Ezio's. 
Thank you. That was very kind of you. Are you all right? I am now. You asked for my name earlier. Ooh. It's Cristina. Piacere, Cristina. I'm Ezio. Well, Ezio. Looks like you got yourself a second chance. Oh! And a kiss on the cheek. Okay, I said this once and I'll say it again. If y'all like The Witcher and like these types of like scenes like this, and this is what gets you going in a video game, play The Witcher 3. Because that's all The Witcher 3 is, is. All these types of scenes of like heroic, charming man s saves the woman from slight distress in her life. And, and then there's hot and heavy sex scenes like, I don't know, every couple hours <laughs> of gameplay. Okay, so then we chase after her again. This is really interesting that we're continuing to just chase after her. Thank you for coming. Of course, of course. Tell me, what can I do? My family's bodies. I Ugh. can't just leave them hanging from the gallows. Does she help with to us? give them last rites. Send them on to the next world. Oh. Lead the way, it's you. Y'all. What are we going to do? Hide yourself. I'm going to have a little talk with you. Where are the bodies that hung here? They've already been taken. Where? Tell me where I'm, they this are. This is going to make I me cry. I... I think they were taking them down to the river. To down. Mm. What will you do? Only one thing to do. <sighs> Kill them. No, don't do that. They did nothing wrong. They follow orders unquestioningly. Mm -hmm. That makes them... It's you? Va bene. I'll sneak behind their backs. Get my family, one at a time if I have to, and carry them down to the river. Okay. I have to leave the city. Christina, oh. I want you to come with me. And she says no. I want to. But I can't. My family. Oh. Oh, he gives her... We will her... always be together, Christina. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. oh. Okay, so that's the last time he saw her cuz we haven't we haven't seen her since Assassin's Creed 2. So this has to be like more recent now. Does she does she remarry? Does she get a husband? Oh, please say no. Please say that she waited. <gasps> it's you. What are you doing here? I only just came back to Firenze. Look at you. Beautiful as ever. Oh. But, oh it's you. I, it's been two years. And I've thought of nothing but you. Oh. But oh. And she has it. I'm engaged to be married. Oh, I called her. Oh, I, oh my God. I was, I was kind of joking, but I fucking called it. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. I thought I would never see you again. Oh my God. It's Manfredo. He's going to kill him. What? In Tali, he lost money to. He's dragged him out to the end of the new bridge. Who the hell is Manfredo? My fiance. Okay, so Ezio's gonna save. I don't know how close. Whoa, hey, Aspetta, what are you doing? Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Christina, the woman you're about to marry. Yes, I do. I, I swear I do. Oh. Kill me here and I will die still loving her. You are never going to gamble again. Never, Messeri. You will be a good husband to her. Or I will hunt you down. Oh! Oh! Ezio still loves her so much. <gasps> oh! Oh! This is not good. This is not good. We're making a love triangle now. Oh, this is not good. He's fine. He'll make a good husband. I made sure of it. 
Oh! Ezio, how could you do that? How could you do that to her? Oh. oh. I thought she would wait, but her father said she, he couldn't. Her father said that she couldn't wait. Oh. Ezio, I was hoping to see you tonight. Okay. I don't have much time. The Doge's party starts very soon. Nevertheless, I have news. I hear Cristina Vespucci is in Venezia for Carnevale. Weren't the two of you close? Once. Perhaps it would have uh. been better not to tell you. She's with her husband. She may not uh -huh. be too happy to see you. No. It's wonderful. It's Carnevale. With these masks, she need not even know it's me. I know She'll exactly know it's you. To draw her attention. Grazie, amico. You're not, you can't try and steal her back. <laughs> Ezio, you can't keep stealing kisses. When did you get so romantic? You can't steep. You can't keep stealing kisses. She's not yours. Uh huh. It's all right. All right? I haven't seen you in eight years. See, I was afraid you wouldn't come if I just asked. You're right. I wouldn't have. Ezio, you the last let time her. I saw you, you kissed me in an alley and then left me behind to be married. It was the right thing to do. He loved you. Who cares what he wanted? I love you. Oh, you Christina. Please, Ezio, don't ever find me again. Oh! Why did he not just... Why did he... Why did they... Ah! Oh, Ezio. She's gonna be dead now. She's gonna die. She's gonna die of some awful disease now. Like, what else could happen? He's not gonna... He's not gonna marry her. He's not gonna fall in love with her. Manfredo, what happened? He gambled again. Savonarola's men. They came through, destroying everything. Where is Cristina? Manfredo, where is she? Mm-hmm. They went after her. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? Cristina, hold on. I'll get you to a doctor. You're going to be all right. No, it's you. I don't think I am. No! Don't go. How the fuck hey, do I keep calling this? How the fuck do I keep Don't calling you know? this? I've always been with you. Oh! I wish we could have Not the necklace. A second chance. Not the necklace. Oh! <sighs> Why? Why did y'all make me watch this? <laughs> oh. I just bawled my fucking eyeballs out. Our next is the Da Vin <laughs> the Da Vinci. The next is the Da Vinci Disappearance. And we have this um, from a YouTube channel named Alex, um, who has 120,000 subscribers. What's happening? Ezio seems to be remembering something. Something from 1506. Desmond's heart rate is increasing. I'm administering a sedative. No, the missing data may be there. Okay, so this is the information that we learned. These are the voices. These are the voices that we listened to at the end of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So I'm assuming this is gonna be perfect and lead right into the next game. The peace of Eden is useless until we have it. Let him continue. Yes, William. William. Okay, that's a new name we haven't heard of. 
William. I wonder who this William person is. I like the music thus far. Restored sequence, the Da Vinci disappearance. Ooh. God, I love... He's... They're, the two of them are both so attractive to me. So I don't know I'm, if anyone else thinks this you, way, but they're both it's, so attractive to me. You must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. I like the armor that Ezio is wearing. Stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist you. I know a captain. He's mm. very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? Uh-huh. Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. Pythagorean's theorem, The brilliant right? scholar from Grecia who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and our cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols Ooh. like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. The apple has been put to rest. Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. Uh huh. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. <laughs> what is he? What is kind. he painting? However, even I can see that she is badly drawn, and that smile, overdone, meaningless. Ah! Uh, but forget painting. Not this. Not them. <laughs> not them throwing shade at the Mona Lisa. Okay. Okay, Ubisoft. I see you <laughs> throwing shade. You bring them. Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Benny, an easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Oh, who is this? Wait then. Salai. See. I don't Suit know yourself. this person. You will likely find him at La Volpe Adormentata. The sleeping fox. We know where that is. We've been there before. <laughs> dice games. I told I... you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes she were as good as me. John Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests your presence. Let him wait. No. Ooh! 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 Nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. You worship there, Messere? Come with me. This sly ass kid, who does he think he is? Find out. Who does this sly ass kid think he is? Please do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. Lead on, Messere. Uh huh. They're mad. Oh, oh, this is not good. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite, I am done playing. Uh huh. So are we. Why did they attack us? There is only one man in Roma who can put on a show like that. Mm. It must be Ezio Auditore. Come, we need to return to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up. I'm interested to why those people attacked us. I hope we find out more information about that. These strangers do not quit. Uh huh. Disciples wearing similar robes appeared once before. They sought an object I had in my ah, possession. Ah, okay, so it's the Templars. You mean the piece of Eden? Leonardo told you. He tells me everything. I fear his indiscretion has cost mm -hmm. us greatly. We must warn him. Say no more. I know the best route home. I take it every morning after the taverns close. Follow me. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so the Templars have Maestro. Leonardo. They took him. Mm -hmm. No, he must be here. The temple he discovered. Where is it? Leonardo. Mm. Salai, you want to save him? Tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo. Etcher. Okay. Something is written on the floor. 
What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Villa. Paintings. He wants us, he to, wants us to examine art. art. I remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. Ooh, that's the really cool. Are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Okay, so Six we're going to steal from the... Five. I told the art merchant that portrait of a lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. Of course... I thought he said tablet. I was like, hello? Who has the paintings now? Lucrezia Borgia. In her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen. Okay, so what are these paintings going to tell us? Ooh, this DLC seems so good. I love all these twists and turns that they do with the DLC and like what they do with the games in general. They like keep you on your toes. Is Assassin's Creed ever going to become a TV series? Because I feel like Netflix could like really get me with those hooks at the end of every single episode. Because I, I watched way too much Netflix. When that, when that happens. The end episode where they grab you, the cliffhangers, get me every time. Did you have an enjoyable ride, Duquesa? Hardly. I raced across the grounds at breakneck speed for fear of a knife in my back. I do not and understand, who? Duquesa. Who is trying to kill you? My father kept them at bay, kept me safe. Now they chase after me. They want my head. They but chase after Senora. you? The countryside was supposed to be serene. That follows me even here. Increase the patrols and warn me of any intruders. Mm -hmm. No one is allowed in the palazzo but my husband's private guard. You heard the Duquesa. Sound the alarm if an intruder is spotted. Okay, so now we have to sneak in here. Did we alert them in some way? We're gonna kill her? We didn't kill her the first time. Come to kill me at last, assassino. Uh -uh. Buongiorno, Lucrezia. Or should I say, Duquesa. A borrowed title bestowed by my husband. Mm. Ill-fitting and barely concealing the truth. You can keep your life. I am here for the art on your walls. Redecorating, are we? <laughs> Count five Leonardo da Vinci paintings you have stolen, and I want them returned. <laughs> if only it were that easy. My birthplace, my family have been taken. We're gonna kill her? You think Ferrara loves me? I am a stranger, a castaway, an orphan. Your paintings are gone, assassino. I do not believe you. Frightening, is it not? To have lost so much? He has lost just as much as you. Perhaps we can comfort each other. Oh! Where are the paintings? Sold to Francesco Colonna, and one to someone who was special to me, Patrizio. He spends his time near Il Vaticano. Ezio! I kept one for myself. Give it to me. Guards! Place Da Vinci's Annunciation in a cart. Leave it outside the walls. They're not gonna... They don't say anything? No. Close your eyes. My husband will soon arrive with his guards, so it is best if you hurry. Etsy! Who? <gasps> what for? No man can heal your pain. You must do so on your own. Say hello to the Duca for me. <gasps> guards! He is so sly. I thought he was going to have sex with her. Okay, Ezio. I really thought he was going to have sex with her. I thought he was going to trade sex for a painting. Huh. I really thought that he was going to trade sex for a painting. Uh-uh. He traded a couple kisses, though. 
I tried a couple kisses for a painting. You're here for the painting? <laughs> yes, Patrizio. <gasps> okay, now to get the second one. I would love to see one of his paintings you in real life. The sale? Of course. That woman used false passion to seduce me. The mm. error lies in her Spanish blood. I know it. Such untruths you so casually utter based on little more than a name. These countries, these groups make such easy targets for the lazy and ignorant. You should tell her that, the high and mighty Duquesa. Putana! I have changed Ooh. my mind. That painting does not deserve to belong to anyone. <gasps> I take the painting and examine it for clues. Be careful. Human hands aided by a fierce intelligence made that. Treat it with respect. Go. Oh my lord. So they know just as much as we know about all of the paintings. I find that part really interesting. But how do they know that? Do they know because Buongiorno. Leonardo said something? This is the home of Francesco Colonna. It was. But now the banks own everything. We have lost it all. How much money do you need? A lesser part of Signore's collection. I have an interest in them nonetheless. The three paintings were put up for auction and purchased by a merchant of Firenze. Oh, he prepares God. to set sail from the harbor immediately. Mm. Grazie mille. I like the 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 term um, "grazie mille." Ezio Auditore, come back down to the harbor when I return to Roma. I will show you the inside of my ship. Now that now that's a line. I'll show you the inside of my ship. Living in this third-rate city instead <laughs> of beautiful Firenze, how low you have sunk, Duccio. We're not children anymore. Look around. I have help this time. And you are all alone. That's... I am warning you. Well, we are only talking, are we not? Uh -huh. I see this place has worked its magic on your sister. She did not want to open her legs in Firenze. But now she is the Madame of Rome. Bitch! Deserved. <laughs> So, why are you just standing there? Eat him. They're all gonna die. Is it a fist fight? You are going to shut your mouth and give me what I want. The three Da Vinci paintings. One is on the boat. The other two were sold to a cardinal. Mm. He is displaying them for high-ranking members of the church. How do I get in? Uh, how should I know? Go ask your whore of a sister. I am Ooh. sure she has slept with a couple of... You're gonna candidates. die for that. Literally, literally... People need to learn to shut their fucking mouths. Let me just say that. People need to learn to shut their mouths. Some people just talk too much. And it gets them killed every time. Some people talk way too much. Much. Buongiorno. Have you ladies heard of an art viewing somewhere in the city? You have returned to Roma. Mm. With just enough time to visit you. I'm glad that he defended her honor. Ezio, do not lie to me. I need to get inside the private showing of the Vinci mm -hmm. paintings. There is a viewing at the Castel Sant'Angelo later today. You will need an invitation. Fortunately, I know where you can procure one. Mm -hmm. It will give you access to the lower floors. Only cardinals are allowed higher. So we sneak in. I could count on you. Si, si. Some of my girls will accompany you. Bona fortuna. Bona fortuna. I kind of wish my grandmother was still alive. I She was always talking a little Italian, like Italian English to me. And like every time they integrate the little beats of Italian makes me think of her. I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> the invitation is not here. 
I will deliver it to Signori. Not us having to chase another person down. Not this. Got it. Okay, we're just gonna tackle him. Not with kill. Me. Okay. Once we get inside, I will mark the paintings for you to steal. Bring them to Leonardo's workshop. Capito? I'm sorry, they're little. <laughs> it was very funny. It kind of sounded like the Pikmin. I don't know if anyone's playing Pikmin 4 next month, but <laughs> it definitely sounded like that. Invitation? Here. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> These men are so easily distracted. I hope. God, straight men are so easily distracted. Like, so easily distracted. How are we marking the painting without destroying it? Okay, so that's one painting down. Two more to go. The upper floors are now open to the cardinals who wish to see additional expressions of devotion. Hmm. I haven't been to an art showing in a really long time. Oh. The guy up top didn't even notice us? Oh, he's scratching the side of it. I thought he was scratching the center. Oh. That makes so much more sense now. Okay, so now that we have all the paintings, do we look at them with equal vision or how do we Have you found anything? Nothing is there. No pages, nothing. That cannot be. Something must be special about them. Mm. Think. I'm done thinking. These paintings are a blank slate. Salai. I'm interested to see what these paintings are because I I have a feeling it's eagle vision. I'm gonna say it again. I have a Those big Leonardo feeling that it's eagle vision in something. Research. He frequently writes backwards. Ezio, mm. He also experimented with inks, including an ink that vanishes. But we can't see invisible ink. Mm -hmm. we can. Ezio, use your gift. You know about that too. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's so good. You know about that too? There are drawings on the painting. We were right. Okay, so now we're going to have to reorganize these. And this is going to be the this location of where different entirely. things are. This is such a cool way to look at the game. Okay. See a drawing. I really like this a lot. This seems like a really, really Everything cool DLC. Found. I'm glad. I'm glad to know that everyone really liked and enjoyed this one. I have found all the images. They seem to fit together. Draw them already. Bring me paper and ink. Okay, and now we have Is to reorganize them. Show me the entrance. I must first position its pieces. Hmm. Wait. What about the burned paintings? It is likely the missing parts will not be needed. Care to bet on that? <sighs> no. I don't I think we'll be able to figure it out without them, hopefully. Okay, we're almost able to figure it out. Here, the entrance to the catacombs. Go. Bring him back to me. So there's an additional catacombs on, we didn't know about. I am coming. Oh, this is so cool. They did a really good job with this DLC. I don't know what his blade did there because it didn't connect. <laughs> Game. Okay, where are we? I don't. Mm, who's talking there? Why are we beating up Leonardo? That's not gonna help. Beating someone up 
and hurting someone has never gotten the information that you wanted out of someone. I don't think it's the world that Leonardo wants, though. Leonardo only has helped you because he's trying to not die and was kind of just like waiting for Ezio. It's not an oh I don't like the Templars. I don't like the way that they describe people. I think that's my biggest issue. Yeah, who is that? You who arrested Cesare Borgia, who stopped the spread of Roman ignorance, convince our friend Leonardo to open the temple and usher in the golden age of mankind. I think we're gonna kill all of them first. By kicking him. Or would you rather I use my knife? On the contrary, there is nothing I would like more than an amiable solution. Mm. Help Leonardo see reason. With the Pythagorean Unifar, we will remake humanity together. Not under my creed. Oh! Then the revolution will begin without you. Ucciderlo! <gasps> Wait a second! That was like Yu-Gi-Oh said hello here. Then the revolution will begin without you. Ucciderlo! Let's duel! Yugi! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was like that had Yu-Gi-Oh written all over it. <laughs> they always did that pose with the arm out. It's also like a, a JoJo thing too. You're just gonna kill the guy. Very foolish. Stay away from me, assassino. <laughs> Goodbye. We are all the same underneath. Mm -mm. Yet these people persist in their witch hunts. Buddy. R.I.P. Uh-huh, I do intend to banish you. You... an assassin? The enemy of knowledge? I don't think One he's the enemy of knowledge. To search for truth. Forcing it on others accomplishes little. That line right there. Forcing it at others accomplishes so little. These lost people... Love that. Warring kingdoms... I would have ended their suffering. Would you have? May you know the truth in death. I like that phrase a lot. May you know the truth in death. Like, it's not saying that he's wrong, but it's also not saying that, like, he's right either. It's like, Come may you figure out let us leave this place. the real truth in we death. We cannot etz you. Not without reaching the final room of the temple. You are hurt. I will be fine. If that mm. number is left intact, we risk another madman discovering it. That's all you had to do? They couldn't tell? I will lead the way. They couldn't tell that that was the button to press? They didn't try to press any of those? Not a, how does it close right behind them? That's my question. Whoa. The Pythagoreans believed that the soul moved through cracks in the earth. Like a beam of light, it ignites fire, which symbolizes knowledge. Whoa. What is that? That's really cool. Is this like another piece of Eden, or what is this? So this is some puzzle that we're doing. Oh, this is so cool. This is a very, very... I really like how they're going about this puzzle here. Continue onward. Interesting. I wonder what's I behind all of this. Is out having fun spending so that light was not a piece of Eden, is safe at home. but a puzzle. I am relieved. About the Florins, of course. You do not need to lie to me. Hmm. Salai fits you. 
I approve. Wait a second. Wait a second. Isn't there history talking about how Leonardo was like one of the first queer men in like some of our history like written down? Okay, that's it. That's my entire comment. I'm just like, oh, okay. I see you. This room I see you, you Ubisoft. Light. Where are we? Sound of wind. Uh huh. Oh. It's a wind puzzle. That's a Trinity knot. That's like the Irish Irish knot. Okay. What is this opening? Whoa. How did Leonardo Only define the final this? Room before we reach the center? How did he find this? Oh, this is so cool. No one expected. Fire of knowledge, correct? Yeah. Harmony was achieved for the Pythagoreans when multiplicity became unity, when many thoughts mm. combined to form one original idea. Whoever, I like the way that this person has edited all of this, by the way. They did a very, very good job at editing all of this together. Could help if I fall. This is so cool. Okay, so now it does it a second time. What are those symbols? What do those represent? What is that center thing open? <gasps> Unity is achieved, but the door is not opening. Because you need an assassin. Because he's going to put his hand over it like he did the other one. Is this another piece of Eden? Leonardo, come here. What is this? Recognize these symbols? No. Wait. These are the symbols that were shown uh -huh. to me by the Apple of Eden. They are in the wrong order. Let me just... If I rearrange these... Done! Oh, this is so cool. What's behind this wall? Oh, it's definitely another piece of Eden. Oh, it's definitely another piece of Eden. I know this architecture. Uh huh. Juno? Whoa. Those are oh, not the Pythagorean symbols. 43, 39, 19, N, 75, 27, the coordinates. 42, double. Nothing. The cult of Hermes is wrong. The number is meaningless. The coordinates. You are leaving? No mere number can repair the world. Come, my friend. Help me charter a ship to Navarre. I must finish with Cesare Borgia. Is not intended for us. Ezio, what are you not telling me? Uh huh. What else are you working on? Well, I have begun several dissection studies. Then King Louis XII seems interested in hiring me as an engineer. 
Oh, yes. I'm thinking of repainting the St. John lost in the Villa. Where do those coordinates would model for it again, of course. are? Then I want to write those down and look that up. To see how her body changes. Interesting. Tell me where, more. where do those coordinates... Hold on. Where do those... What are these coordinates? 43... 39, 19 north, 75, 27, 42 west. Okay, I want to look that up. I want to look to see what those are. Model for it again, of course. Then perhaps I will study a woman with child to see how her body changes. Interesting. Tell me more. Okay, now what's the end of this? I really appreciate this guy's video. It was really, really, really helpful. You can sedate Desmond now. We have the information sedate we need. Sedate him? William, why are you doing that? It's too late. The damage is done. He seems to have entered some kind of coma. He'll find his way out. He always has in the past. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, what is this? 43, 39, 19 north, 75, 27, 42 west. Where is this in the world? The coordinates, oh, here we go, beautiful. The coordinates for the Da Vinci Disappearance DLC for Sons Creed Brotherhood is here. Where is this? This is where spoilers are overly, oh, I'm gonna jump away from those spoilers. Where is this located? Where? New York's New York? Wait, what? 43, 39, 19 North, 75, 27, 42. Why are we in New York City? Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, cool. Now that I'm done crying over the Christina missions, uh, y'all... I wasn't intended to have my heart ripped out of my fucking chest for that at all. I was expecting this like, oh, I married someone new and we lived happily ever after bullshit. But she loved him the entire time. She loved Ezio the entire time. And all Ezio had to do was to just, like, talk to her about it. And they just needed to, like, have a conversation. Maybe Christina would have changed her mind if, like, Ezio was, like, sending money back to her family back home or something. I don't know. They could have talked about it. Ah! God. The love stories like that get me every time. I'm such a sap for love and I'm such a sap for love stories and I'm such a sap for moments like that. Like, I feel like I need to watch the Outlander series because I've been told it's like that. Is there any other TV shows or video games or things that I should be watching that are like that? I love a good Netflix, like, teen drama. I don't know why the teen love stories always get me because, like, I always longed for young love and I never got young love. I didn't meet my partner until I was like 26, 27. Oh my God, I don't, we've been dating for so long, three years since October. <laughs> I forget how old I was when we met. Ah, that's not good. <laughs> so I just, I just love those love stories. So if you have any of those suggestions, leave those in the comment section below. I would love to watch more television. Maybe we could react to it here on YouTube. If I'm able to, or I'll talk about it on Twitter or in the Discord. Something that I did want to mention, though, was that I understand that that person is not Minerva, but is Juno, uh, which I haven't really talked about at all. Um, you folks educated me about it. Apparently, in the PC version of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, it says Juno and then the text. In the PlayStation version, the version I'm playing, it doesn't say the character name before each comment that's like a huge accessibility option so for me as a disabled person that's like one thing i always look for whenever i'm playing a video game is having those name identifiers because those allow me to remember names and allow me to like understand the story and understand everything that's going on so if, if you know any more moments like that where like i say a character's name and you're like that's not that character sean 
let me finish my thought process. Let me finish whatever I've done. And then after, correct me so I know for the future. Also, don't look up character names if you're not trying to get spoiled. Because I looked up Juno's name. So something happens in the future that I quickly scanned away from. So don't put spoilers in my comment section, please. Please, 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 please. I really would appreciate it. If you want to join us on our journey to defeating all of the Assassin's Creed games, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when our newest videos go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit a like on this video as well as a comment of your favorite part or anything you want to share about the questions or reactions that I had today. I would love to see those and I'd love to talk to you about them. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. I hope to see you back soon and I hope to see you Wednesday where we'll be announcing a brand new sponsor that I've worked for three years to get. So I'm very, very, very excited to get it. If you want to join us in guessing who that sponsor is, you can follow me on Twitter or join us in the Discord to do that. I'll see you folks soon, and I'll see you in the next one.